back to Savvy Serena. This is the 2020 See It Bigger Planner Review. I've been doing these planner reviews since 2016. So this is like my fifth one. Yep, this is my fifth one. And so they changed it up last year a little bit. So I've got my old planner from last year and I'm just going to kind of flip through and see what's changed. So let's start by the design. It's really gorgeous. I really like the design of the new cover. Kind of reminds me of roses with like a, a peach tone with the black and some white in it. They did have another one that I wanted to I came so close to getting, and it was a gray background. I'll actually insert a picture because that was just as gorgeous, and I had them side by side, kind of trying to decide which one I wanted. I like the fact that they came up with a, a little bit more variety this year, but I decided to go with this one. And it's got the hardcover, you know, cardstock, I guess you would say. They're very durable covers because I've had so many. It is spiral bound. And they give you, of course, the three extra bonus uh, months. So it's October, November, and December of 2019 added on to the regular. But this is a very thick cover like it was last year. And you open it up, it says, See It Bigger 2020 Monthly Weekly Planner, which is what I use every day. And it gives you some of the um, things we're going to get into going into it. And this is laminated. I know some people use these as like a dashboard. I don't, but you can. And then there's a letter from the CEO. And it probably says the same thing as it did last year. But they did it in gray instead of the pink. This was welcome and this was in pink. This year it's in gray. So we have personal information. Which is like it was last year. Uh, but I'm noticing I'm referring to my last year's planner. And I'm seeing that. The old one, this was in pink. Now this is in gray, but it looks like the same font. So that's changed as far as the coloring. So you have like your personal information if you want to put it in there. I know some people do put their name, address, phone number, email, or whatever. So if their planner's lost the person can get in touch with them who to contact in emergency I normally don't use any of this you've got your medical information here you've got your financial uh, information here that you can put that stuff at I don't use any of this your insurance your household contacts I do sometimes put down the contact number for when my lights go out for electricity because when it's dark it is very I mean I could look it up on my phone but I found that I just write the um, number in case the lights go out I, I put it here because normally my planner is close by have you ever tried to find something in the dark I do use that one And then we go into the 2019 months. And these look the same. Looks like the same font. But they changed these again to gray. And that line to gray instead of pink. Um, which is great if you're, you need to look at the whole year in advance. And they have 2020. And then 2021. Which I think is great if you need to plan. You know. If you need to look back. Or you need to look at the whole year. It's nice. 
Um, that's not what I use it for. You got your holidays, and it's usually um, what day they're on for 2020, for 2020 and 2021. And then your events for the year, for whatever you want to use this for. I'm going to try this year, and I think I've said this before. I really want to try to do birthday cards. And if I could put down everybody's birthday in January and each month, then I would know what birthday cards I need to get for that month so I can mail them out. That's something I want to start doing this year is just send birthday cards out to people. Um, I think that would be a nice little thing. And I'm noticing, did I say, the holidays, I didn't say it, but it seems like it's being a thing where all these were in pink, the, the top headers were in pink, they're being in gray. That's what I'm noticing as I'm looking back at each one. And of course, they have the line in the center again on both sides like they did last year. But, I mean, you could use this for a lot of things. Events that you want to remember. And so we have a nice sturdy tab for October, November, and December. If you remember in some of my older videos, I mentioned I said I'm not going to use my planner yet because it's too much of an ordeal because it don't have those tabs. These tabs are very sturdy. Every... You know, every year that I've used them, I'm able to flip right to where I need to be. And these have not come apart yet. They're really good, sturdy tabs. And then we go into October. And I'm seeing now, instead of having the pink, it's now all in gray. Hey, see it bigger. Are y'all actually seeing my videos? Because you're actually listening to what I'm saying. I got tired of the pink. So, this is another thing I've noticed. The blocks in my old planner were black. And now they're all gray. I like this. This is in gray now where it was in pink. The week... The weekends are a lighter gray. They used to be in pink. And these used, and the Saturdays used to be in pink. Now it looks like just a lighter gray. And then this is a darker gray. So there is a little bit of a difference. I don't know if you're catching that on camera or not. But there's a little bit of a difference. They gave us the lines with the check boxes again. It looks the same except for that. So your weekend is like a lighter gray. And the other one's like, it's not quite a deep black. It's kind of a lighter black. Maybe my lighting, I can't really tell. But anyways, it looks like the same when I pulled them up here and compared them. So this is your month. And then, this is your weekly. Now you know, um... I decorate, if you're coming to me for the first time, which I know a lot of you do, I do decorate my monthlies, um, just to give it, you know, so that's going to make it nicer to, for it to be gray than the pink. I've kind of not been paying attention to it, and just, I think I like the gray better, because I don't do washi tape all over this. I just, it's too much time, and I'm not going to, I'm like, okay, it's not that big of a deal. So, doing the gray being more neutral, it's going to be a whole lot easier to actually decorate these. Because before, if you look at the one that I just did, you know, that's the decorate I did for October. If you see... You know, you've got all this paint. I can see where this would have looked a whole lot better on that. So that's something I'm liking. So, like I said, I think they're listening to me. The weekly, which I use for my to-do list. Okay. So, it's not in the pink anymore. It's in the gray. And then you've got the gray line across here. And everything else 
except for the dark lines used to be pink. Now they're gray, so that makes it nice. And then you've got the check boxes here for notes, which is nice. And that's the theme. It looks like these headers are a new theme, and the darker lines, they got rid of the pink. And then, of course, you have all your months are tabbed going into January which we'll look at January because sometimes people don't see these till January. I like being able to flip to that month. Then when I get to my weekly, whatever week I'm on, I use a paper clip. So then we go into December. There's a... I'm curious to know if they put it in here. They did. I noticed this is something new that they started doing. Um, October and they put it in October 12th. I actually bought my planner this year the last weekend in September and I didn't think it would be till this weekend or the next following weekend before I could get it but it says time to plan ahead get your new plan ahead planner at Walmart or Walmart.com okay so we're gonna go to the back of this and we have our note pages which is great um, I use these for many many things this year I'll be doing using it differently than I've been using in the past I'll be using them a little bit different um, we're doing some house projects this year and actually in the next few weeks possibly and so with these new projects being able to write down stuff in here will be nice. Um, I don't know if they'll go into the new year with it. I don't know. So I don't know if they'll go in this one or my old one. And then behind notes, they give you contacts. I know a lot of people use the contacts. You know, if you're in a business, that's great to be able to write contact information down. But I know a lot of people will write down contact numbers because their phones mess up and then they have you know the important numbers that they need to have in here especially if you have an older phone and then behind contacts one of my favorites is the passwords and I do use this I do not like to keep my passwords in my phone because I feel like if my phone is stolen then they've got your passwords. That's a scary thought to me. So having them in my planner, I think is a whole lot better idea. And all I do is when I change planners from one to the next, any information, because it is spiral bound, any contacts I don't want people to get a hold of, any financial information, you know, in the front that I don't want them to get a hold of, I rip all that out. And I shred it in my shredder. And then that way all that information is gone. But I do like keeping my passwords in here. Because some of my passwords, like my husband's, there are certain passwords he cannot remember. Like he can't remember any of that. And if I don't write it down in his email, he cannot remember his email. Because I'll even put that here. Like I'll put like Ed's name. And then I'll put in what his login is and password is you know like well I'll say ads let's say Facebook and then I'll put all that information in for him so when he's like what's my password I can't remember what's my login thing I can't remember I stick it in here I know mine but sometimes I don't know his and so it's nice might be good for children also in case they don't remember it because they have like Snapchat and Yahoo or Snapchat and, you know, all these little apps that they do and they don't always remember. It's nice to write it down for them. This would be a good place to do it. But you get quite a few pages. So you get, so you get eight on each page. And then one, two, one two back and fronts and then one front and then you go to your back piece this is laminated like it is on the front 
and this is what your cover looks like and it's laminated so you could definitely do a dashboard if you wanted to I have even used it even on the back side it's laminated which is nice um, but I have written with uh, my dry erase marker sometimes on my other one I'd write like a little note with dry eraser like in the light part and it does great the only thing is you got to let it dry or it'll go on to this and then you've got a white cover which was that white on the other one it was and the um, I guess to pick up these colors and the other one the inside was gray which no was purple and then that's your back and it's to see it bigger planner it these are great for and I didn't say this in the beginning they're great for people that have a hard time seeing it's large print to make it easier for people that have you know glasses or contacts to be able to see their planner if they don't have their glasses on that's not why I get it I like the fact and I know a lot of people have said this the blocks are really big my handwriting is big and so to be able to get a big block like that I can write several things in that block and then on the weekly you have so much space to put what you need in those spaces that is awesome you have all that room to be able to write what you need to write and when I do my to-do list it's sometimes all the way down sometimes so I'm, I'm, I'm impressed I'm gonna keep buying these because I'm impressed with them but I like the fact that when I go to plan whether it's monthly or weekly that my planner sits flat that's the greatness of a spiral bound planner is you can lay the sucker completely flat I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give me a thumbs up um, I do want to say for the people that do watch these every year I'm not going to do a monthly one this is the only planner video I'm doing because my monthly went my monthly planner from last year went from 2019 to two till 2020 their monthlies are two years so I don't need to get another one um, I am going to insert some pictures here if I can get them off my phone I'm still trying to learn how to do that comment below give me a thumbs up because y'all always do that that lets me know to keep doing these um, so y'all come back now you hear